Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpisami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Greetings everybody, welcome to uh, Forex Pesami daily video on the Forex markets. Today we again will take a look at the euro currency because guys we have to look at it since the situation is changing very rapid here and uh, it's really very interesting uh, stuff that we have right now on the euro currency. Only yesterday we have talked about the possible bullish signs, bullish reversal on the intraday charts uh, but right now we're have to discuss the opposite direction because just one effort to punish the Deutsche Bank was enough to trigger the sell-off on the euro currency. So you probably know this story. It's about stands about the greatest uh, private bank in, in, in Europe, so the Deutsche Bank. Uh, it uh, stands in the legal act from the United States federal authorities for for. Uh, they they would they uh, have the same the same process as against uh, Lehman Brothers. So something about the uh, mortgage uh, mortgage backed securities, uh, the bond market. So the the sum that uh, they would like to demand is something about the 14 billion dollars. Uh, in general, guys, I have to say that uh, all the stories about the demanding on some. Um, uh, Money from the European companies is nothing more than just uh, robbing from the shadow government. So they they need to to rob somebody. Already the Volkswagen, as you know, has been punished and robbed for for a great sum. And and uh, later when they have tested the engines, the diesel engines, they uh, uh, even have have published the the results of the testing. And the result was just stunning that uh, Volkswagen uh, engines, in fact, the the clearest the most ecological engines among the all major producers of the, of the, of the car producers. So, uh, as you, you understand, that was just a fake uh, case and uh, as a result, the Europe has lost a lot of money and the reputation it was a strong hit on the uh, uh, greatest uh, car uh, Producer in the in the in the in the Europe and the one of the greatest in the world. So now this uh, turn has come for Deutsche Bank, uh, and this is nothing but just uh, the necessity of, to rob somebody, uh, because this legal act is I suppose it's very un it's very unclear. It's, it's very difficult will be to prove something. Uh, but Europe also is trying to uh, somehow protect themselves and you know that they uh, have the legal act against the Apple. So uh, all, only on the great sum. So this is really not a not good situation. But this is the how just uh, financial world and the shadow government works. So, uh, but what we could do here... Uh, this sell-off, guys, that we have right now in the euro currency is not really a good sign, as you know, because uh, in general the right shoulder, as it now stands, of this head and shoulders patron, uh, shows not quite bullish action, because uh, mostly because the in relation to the neckline, because we know that when the right shoulder starting to form, here this total control should come to the bulls, but take a look at the market even can't finally reached the neckline. So it has happened once when the head has been completed but when the bottom of the shoulder has been created market still can't reach the neckline. So this is definitely not the bullish action. And yesterday when we have said uh, when, we, when, we, when we were in this moment we said well finally maybe market finally will, will, be, will, will find some uh, power and uh, will be able to show some upper direction if it will be the butterfly. So well, well, it's nice. Uh, this is in fact the last chance to form the bullish shoulder here. Uh, 
thrusting action was not bad in on the intraday charts and everything is developing very nice but this stunning uh, news and the drop of the shares of the Deutsche Bank has pushed the euro currency down and this action is not really very good even from the butterfly perspective so when the right shoulder of the butterfly already has started it's very a lot of questions to this moment this is the first sign second as you can see market right now stands and the age point of the shifting trend to the bearish side if this will happen we even will will lose the theoretical context for the tra trading trading uh, market on the long side because only uh, the, the the trend already will be on the bearish side and we even do not we will not have even theoretical uh, background for taking the long position so um although our context is still the same so we said that we will start to speak about the taking the short only if market will break through the 1130 area this will be a very important moment for the euro currency but right now as you can see that unconfirmed trend right now is shifting to the bearish side we of course can't take the long position also guys uh, I would like to talk a bit more about our yesterday analysis so it shows that when you have the clear criteria how to take the position when to take the position it it will be it's really the gold mine and it could save a lot of money to you so recall what we said yesterday trend is bullish on the daily chart um, on the hourly chart trend was bearish here we start now a discussion here on this retracement and we said when the trend will shift bullish we will try to take the position on the minor retracement but where it will shift bullish we do not know uh, where it will shift bullish here that was the confidence support or maybe at the 618 this is guys in fact the uh, sh this situation shows the attractiveness of the pressures of uh, <coughs> Judd Napoli uh, minesweeper entry technique uh, take a look that here when the market starts move up it, it hasn't shift trend bullish so we have no context for taking long position after, after that market just collapsed so you can see the bearish grabber has been formed market dropped it has broken through 618 support this was total collapse here so we even haven't got the chance to think about the taking a long position because there was no context for that so trend bull uh, hourly trend uh, never have shit bullish here it's just market dropped right now as you can see minor retracement stance this is the negative bearish dynamic pressure so already has, con has reached the target and taken out of these lows market is forming the butterfly but take a look at this drop it's very fast and it means that market will reach the 1618 target or even exceed it who knows but guys this is major 161 uh, this is major 618 support 1180 area as you can see on the daily chart on the 4 hour time frame chart market already dropped below monthly and weekly pivot point again and now is challenging the major 618 support and that's also the butterfly target but usually when the market shows the acceleration down trend again should be bearish uh, acceleration down it in most cases reached to the 1618 if this will happen the daily chart the daily trend will should be bearish here and the next destination will be definitely the bottom it's 1130 area that's why guys it's how the context works it's how the chart napoli uh, tools of the taking the position of the entry tactic works so you can see it looks very nice uh, that being said what we have in the euro currency only yesterday we have discussed the possibility of the upper breakout situation has changed uh, drastically and uh, right now we're talking already about the testing of the weekly pivot support one maybe but the fact the market has turned down uh, from the weekly pivot resistance one tells that this is just a retracement this is not the new bull trend this is not the continuation of the previous bull trend but this is a retracement with this drop down and reversal right at this point failure breakout of this triangle uh, it starts to look uh, very bearish and uh, <coughs> uh, currently guys we're just probably as market has failed to reestablish our prediction we now will turn back to expectation and, and waiting of the breakout through 1130 maybe it will not happen today maybe it will not happen tomorrow but uh, this really could happen on the current week because this market is just right now challenging major support and, and it will be broken because as you can see the thrust was very strong down uh, as I said this is just a feature the, um, of the butterfly 
is that when the market shows the just very fast action to the 1 Vendor Zone, it means that it will come to the 1618. But below the 1618, we don't have any significant supports. So one six, the 618 support FIB level will be broken here. And return back here to 1130 will probably mean the end because this action already will be stand absolutely irrational for the shapes of the bullish patterns that we have here. That confirms that market really could show the breakout even on the current week. So that's our current view on the euro currency.